But let's talk about how all of these cues really impact us, all of the stocks that you should watch as well. We have Reema, Surbi, as well as Nigel joining us now with the trade setup this morning. Guys, a very good morning to all of you. And Reema, let me come to you first. Today is a very big day of cues, both in terms of, you know, what's expected domestically, as well as, of course, from the global markets. Uh, no, absolutely. So the RBI monetary policy decision will be known at 10 o'clock and that will dictate the way, uh, particularly the interest sensitives uh, move in the second half of the trading session. But yesterday, just a quick recap, it was a good session for our market. Very steady. There was a little bit of a dip which took place early in the morning, but that dip below the 19,500 was quickly brought into and the Nifty largely stayed around the 19,550 mark. The mid caps were a bit subdued. The mid cap index slipped from the day's high to close absolutely flat. The levels from here are on, on the Nifty. On the way down, yesterday's intraday low, which is 19,487, will be watched as a support. And on the way up, the 50-day moving average, which stands at 19,607, will be very crucial. Other macroeconomic indicators, while US markets at an index level didn't do too much, crude prices continue to decline. That's a positive. Crude prices were down 2% uh, on an overnight basis. They've now fallen 12% compared to the week, uh, level that it was in the prior week. So five-week lows on crude prices. The US dollar index to ease to levels of 4.75%. That's a positive. In terms of flows, well, the same story continues. The FI net sold 1864 crore in the cash market. The DII's net bought 521 crore. But, you know, despite so much FI selling, uh, the markets have largely been resilient. And that just shows the depth of the Indian equity market market and the support that we're getting in from the DIIs and the retail investors. So all in all, uh, you know, it's um, going to be a lot about uh, the big events lined up, RBI monetary policy today and post markets, US markets, you'll have uh, the jobs data for the month of September. Back to you. Oh, absolutely. We're all watching out for those cues. Reema, thanks a lot for that. Surbi is also here to take us through the stocks that we should watch. Surbi, of course, all of the rate sensitives, the crude sensitives will be in focus today, but take us through the news flow that came through as well on stocks uh, post market close. Hi, Pavitra. So first one on my list is PB Fintech. Now, sources say SoftBank may sell 2.5% stake in the company. And this stake sale will happen at a discount of 0 to 2% range uh, from yesterday's closing price. Bajaj Finance, they get board approval to raise 8,800 crores via QIP. Additionally, the company is going to issue warrants to Bajaj Finserv to raise another 1,200 crores. Tata Motors, uh, the JLR wholesale numbers are in and that were up 29% on a year-on-year -year basis. And also JLR expects a positive free cash flow of £300 million in Q2 FY24. Adani Wilmar, the Q2 business update, uh, the standalone business was down 13% uh, on a year-on-year -year basis, but the volumes were up 11% on a year-on-year -year basis. Godrej Consumer also came out with the Q2 business update. The consolidated volume growth has, is seen in mid-single digits, but uh, and also saw double-digit revenue growth. Uh, the company saw healthy expansion in their EBITDA margins across key segments. Uji One Small Finance Bank, the total deposits were up 43%. Casa was up 27% on a year-on-year -year basis. Utkash Small Finance Bank, gross loan portfolio was up 26%. And the total deposits were up 19%. And lastly, Som Distilleries, the company is going to do a fundraise via QIP on October 10th. Okay, so we thanks a lot for running us through that entire list of stocks. We're going to watch for all of these in today's trading session. Finally, it's over to Nigel, who's looking at all of the cues from the futures and options space. Nigel, looks like the start will be positive, but take us to what you're tracking. Well, that's right, uh, Mani Pavitra. You know, the start is likely to be positive. And uh, yes, we had a good session, actually. But the key resistance levels remain elusive. You know, the markets couldn't get past those levels. But yesterday, you know, as we pointed out at the start of the day, that the FIs, the net shot on the Nifty Bank in particular, it appears yesterday, at least on the whole, there was some short covering that was seen because the Nifty Bank ended higher and the open interest was lower. And that perfectly ties in what the FIs did. So there was my long addition. That's after a while that we're seeing any kind of long addition out there. While the first signs of some bit of short covering, marginal, 2,000 contracts lower, they continue to remain net short on this index with close to around 74% of their positions on the short side. And in terms of index futures positioning, well, the absolute number is around 88,000 contracts. How did the uh, uh, options data stack up? Well, the 19,500 put, that was fairly active in yesterday's trading session, and the 19,600 call as well was fairly active. The premium on both those two strikes were around 75 to around 80 rupees. So for those that are writing the 19,500 put, you minus 80 rupees, you get 19,420. That'll become the important support zone. If you break that, then you're looking at 19,330, which is the low we saw earlier this week. On the upside, though, 19,610, 19,670, 
that's going to be a bit of a resistance zone. The Nifty Bank, that's going to be in focus. We'll be waiting by to hear from the RBI governor. But positioning is such that we don't get way past that 44,600-odd mark. So that's going to be a bit of a resistance zone in the near term. The gift will be suggesting a green start. The bulls will be hoping not to see a very hawkish RBI governor. And later this evening, maybe a softer jobs data. That's what the bulls will want. But let's see what they get. Back to you. All right, let's see what they get. Nigel, thanks a lot for taking us through all of those cues. Let's get into a short break now. But on the other side, we're going to talk about exactly this cue. The RBI will announce its policy decision in just over two hours from now. So we're going to line up all of the expectations when we come back.